Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be looking at soluble salts and insoluble salts. We are going to look at the solubility rules and determine an easy way to remember which salts are soluble and which are not. So stay tuned. First, let's look at soluble salts. For soluble salts, all we need to remember is SNAP. SNAP stands for sodium, nitrate, ammonium, and potassium. Remember, salts are made of cations as well as anions. So if a salt contains any of these ions, the other ion doesn't matter. It will be soluble. For example, sodium sulfate. Sodium sulfate has sodium as the cation. It doesn't matter what the anion is. Sodium sulfate will be soluble. Ammonium chloride. As long as ammonium is the cation, it will be a soluble salt. For silver nitrate, we have nitrate as the anion. As long as nitrate is the anion, the salt will be soluble. Same goes for potassium carbonate. If potassium is the cation, it doesn't matter what the anion is, it will be soluble. For insoluble chlorides, we remember PAH. P-A-H. P-B is lead, A-G is silver, and H-G is mercury. For chlorides, as long as the cation is either lead, silver, or mercury, the chloride will be an insoluble chloride. For example, lead chloride. P-B is part of PA, and therefore it is insoluble. Magnesium chloride. Magnesium is not part of PA, and therefore it will be soluble. Silver chloride is part of PA, it will be insoluble. Mercury chloride is part of PA, it is also insoluble. The insoluble sulfates are bachap, barium, calcium and lead sulfate. If we had barium sulfate, barium is part of bachap and therefore it is insoluble. Calcium sulfate, calcium is also part of bachap and therefore it is insoluble. Lead sulfate, same thing, insoluble. But zinc sulfate, zinc is not part of bachap and therefore zinc will be soluble. For carbonate salts, all carbonates are insoluble except if they are paired with cations from SNAP. So if you remember soluble salts, all SNAP salts are soluble. From SNAP, the only cations are SEP. Nitrate is an anion. An anion doesn't form a salt with an anion. Carbonate is an anion. So carbonate will not form salt with nitrate. That's why we ignore the N out of the SNAP. Sodium carbonate. Sodium is part of SNAP and therefore it will definitely be soluble. Calcium carbonate. Calcium is not part of SNAP and therefore it will be insoluble. Potassium carbonate, potassium is part of SNAP and therefore it is soluble. Same goes to ammonium carbonate. Ammonium is part of SNAP and therefore it is soluble. Let's do a quick recap. For soluble salts, all SNAP salts are soluble. Sodium, nitrate, ammonium and potassium salts are always soluble. Insoluble chlorides are PA, lead, silver and mercury. The insoluble sulfates are bachap, barium, calcium, and lead. And all carbonates are insoluble except for those that form salts with SNAP. Sodium, ammonium, and potassium carbonate are soluble. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you've learned something. If you have, please do help support me by hitting that like button so that YouTube knows that you've enjoyed this video and it will suggest my videos to other viewers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I will be producing at least one video a week. I'll see you in the next video.